Hey guys, welcome to December and in today's video, I am going to share with you my most used bags of the year. The first bag is my Lawive puzzle bag. I believe this is in the medium size. I think it used to be the smallest uh, model but then they came up with a mini mini size with the mini bag trends and this is my baby. I think it's probably my most used bags for last year as well. There's a lot of ways to wear it so handle, cross body and then you can actually shorten this strap here and actually make it into like a little purse. So it's really uh, a versatile bag. Uh, that it does have like a little zip here at the back which I never use because it's so tiny. You can't really fit your phone in it but the leather is a very soft leather uh, so I have a bunch of stuff there because I used it today. I do have a bag organizer as well as a bag bag shaper because after having it for I think I've had this for like four years uh, because the leather is kind of soft it does kind of sag a little bit so it will lose its shape um, unless you get it in a very stiff leather but I think most of it comes with this leather anyway my bag was a little bit sloppy and floppy so I decided to get like a base uh, for it and it really helped to recreate that structured look for the bag so it's a very very versatile bag i absolutely love this anytime i just want to go out or have a cross body this is usually my go-to even if i'm out with the kids next bag we have is my constance i think this is a 28 and this is in my favorite color i've always wanted to get an Hermes bag in this color. I think it's the blue sapphire color. So this is a surprise for me because I actually did wasn't a Constance fan. I thought it was too ladylike, was too classy for me. And I pretty much wear more rugged looking clothing. But I surprisingly love it a lot. So on the days whereby I do want to wear crossbody but I do want to look a little bit elevated, I actually reach out for this and I can easily wear it crossbody like that which I usually do or I can wear it like at the crook of my arm in a little bit more classy way. The size is actually I also thought that it would be very small but it's actually pretty decent. The leather even though it's like a hard leather um, it's not like super stiff like um, some bags whereby it doesn't give a lot of leeway but for this bag it actually does contain it can contain a sizable amount but I would say it's more for like a date night or a night where you're just by yourself not with the kids you don't have to carry anything extra I can fit my phone very easily into this compartment it doesn't have like a back pocket uh, which kind of sucks because I don't know like this uh, mechanism that they have here sometimes it's a little bit difficult for me to open um, and I struggle with opening it sometimes time so I'm not sure whether the mechanism of this particular bag is not working or all constances are like that but sometimes I struggle to open it uh, to reach out for my phone so that's the only con uh, but other than that I really love it I don't need any like organizers or um, bag shapers for this it really holds its, sh its shape very well this is my summer bag this is a bag I bring out for brunch for like just when I again have time to myself and I don't have the kids with me. This I think, I didn't realize it at the time, but I think it's like a, a dupe of a cult Gaia bag. Uh, but it's very, it was very trending at least like a couple of years ago. I decided to go for the yellow one because I have enough black bags. Uh, you will see in a minute. Uh, but it's just like a really nice woven. The material is actually really nice. So I got this off Amazon and I will link the link down below. Um, the only con of course is that it's not a very practical bag so I usually just carry it for brunch or a quick uh, visit to my friend's house or something. You definitely need to put in um, little organizers like this one um, into it. Um, 
otherwise everything is gonna fall out like you can put your phone and everything but you really have to be careful because even when you are on the bus or on the cab uh, things might actually fall out so you got to keep it like upright uh, but all in all I really like it I'm really glad that I got it and it was actually quite I don't think it was like super expensive so really enjoyed that another bag which I didn't think I'd like but I fell in love with it it is this bag okay when it first came out I thought it was not very pleasant looking. I did a lot of research before I got this one um, because it was such a different style to the usual bags that I carry. It's a very, very functional bag. So it's the Chanel 19. First, I love that you can carry it anyway. Uh, you can carry it by the handle here, which is awesome. And then you can also carry it by the strap here on your shoulder. If you are short enough, you can actually also carry it uh, crossbody. So the the absolute perfection of this bag is that it has this huge flap here which is magnetized so regardless of what size of phone you have it fits so perfectly in there and it's such an easy way to grab your phone and that itself is like a huge huge plus and then um, the inside is also very very spacious so I have an organizer in here and I also based on my research um, the ladies were saying that it can actually get slouchy like the Laweve bag so I did get a bag shaper for this so that it will maintain its like rectangular base uh, and then on top of that I got a little organizer to keep its shape as well so yeah I really really love it I mean the bag inside is just like you know it has a little zip and stuff but then it's just go it goes with every outfit like no matter what you're wearing it goes with it because of the color and yes it's kind of like a patented red uh color which i never would have thought i would get but then again based on research i actually ended up really falling in love with this the usual leather that this comes in is more of the calf skin leather i believe and it's very soft and it tends to be a little bit more fragile but because this is patented it's already like a little bit um, grainy so i don't have to be too careful with this i can just kind of i do actually just just carried around so a very very practical bag next up we've got these balenciaga babies okay so these have been in my collection for a while i used to use these for work as well although maybe it wasn't really that formal for work but as my business was progressing more and more i realized that i needed to go for more meetings i needed to carry things like documents and my ipad or my laptop so i had to whip this out more and these are just classics i mean they're never gonna go out of style i remember being like a girl in uni and whenever the weekend comes i used to like to scroll through the fashion blogs uh, at the time fashion blogs are huge and there was this um, blogger who had tons of these motorcycle CD bags and she had like a very rocker look to her and I really really loved her look so now I have two uh, I have this electric blue one which has rose gold uh, hardware and this is like the older version where the strap is actually kind of short I do believe that the straps now are a little bit longer though some people tell me that it can be adjusted some people tell me they can't so I hope it can be adjusted because I feel like this is more of a, a handbag but if you're a guy I can see how you want to use this as a crossbody it would look nice as well the inside is just a huge hole yeah I have little little random stuff in my bag and it, it fits like A4 paper it fits your iPad and stuff and I usually carry it on uh, with a handle and then when it gets too heavy I might carry on with the uh, uh, the long strap next up while we are talking about black bags and gold hardware it's my Birkin this is my 30 in there's a there's a there's a Hermes language you guys so it is a 30 Birkin uh, Togo leather and it is in gold hardware 
yeah I think that's pretty much it right <laughs> I don't know but I had I have this like little scarf around here to give it like a little bit of color so also a little bag uh, organizer inside and also to shape it because because of the Togo leather which is a little bit softer it can collapse so a bag organizer is good I mean this bag this bag is like a dream bag for me, you know, so I carry it with a lot of pride um, and I think the 30 size is just nice for me. Um, I can wear it for work but I can also wear it on a night out because it's not too big and not too small for my frame. I am 5 foot 7, 1.75 uh, meters and it just looks really, really pretty. It's just pretty. I mean. Yeah, the leather still smells very nice. Anyway, this is a really, really good work bag, okay? Because it's just completely open and it's very chic looking and it is just a perfect bag to carry for any occasion. We have two more bags and these are uh, practical, practical, affordable bags. Okay, the first one is this little guy here. This is a crossbody bag which I initially got for my son's teachers for Teacher's Day like years ago and then I liked it so much that I got one for myself. Okay, so I've used this to death and it's it, it has that long champ look where it has like a little uh, button here uh, where you can actually put your phone. I usually just put my phone in here and then it's got like a, a little good amount of space for you to put other things in here. It's the perfect simple crossbody bag. It's sort of waterproof because it's like nylon uh, material and guys this was I think less than $15 I believe. I think it was like $12 or something and it comes in a whole bunch of shades. I got it on Lazada and I use it so much. The last bag I want to show you is something that I it's a mom bag, okay? So it's something that I didn't think I would go back to in terms of the style, but I realized that it's probably uh, more efficient if I do. It's a backpack, okay? So this is the backpack. It's by uh, this brand called Mori. Is it somewhere here? Yeah, it's called this brand by Mori. You would have seen it on Instagram. They do a lot of Instagram ads and uh, it's uh, created by women in vulnerable communities and stuff. So their CSR is very huge. This is actually a sort of a milk bottle bag because it is actually insulated. But after looking at all the designs that they had, I decided that this is the design I like the most. So it's super lightweight. Um, um, I chose this color because it would not get dirty too easily. What I like about it is, okay, so first of all, ways to carry it. There's like 10,000 different ways to carry it. Of course, you can carry it by the handle here. You can carry it as a backpack and you could also carry it as a crossbody bag if you take one of these and you lengthen it. And you can also carry it just as a handbag if you make it a little bit shorter. So many different ways to carry it. So I really liked that versatility. And then I like that at the back, it has a little zip here where you could conveniently put your phone. What's in here? Okay. <laughs> okay, you can conveniently put your phone. Uh, however, this um, this slot, uh, it's, it's just nice for my phone, right? But it's not like super easy to, it's not big enough for me to just pop it in there. If I do that, the phone will still stick out. So I just really got to put it in. Um, so I wish that this area here is just a little bit roomier just so that I can just reach out and put my phone in there without worrying. Whereas now I kind of have to like stick it and wriggle it around. So I ended up not really using that. Um, the other part is that if you open this side, there is a secret compartment here where you can put stuff. I don't really use this. I do use um, this little 
patches. So on the inside, it has two compartments. It has this one compartment here. So the inside is all insulated, guys, because it's meant to put like milk and stuff for mummies who are breastfeeding and pumping. So in this area is where I put my necessities that I need to reach out for very uh, often. So for example, hand sanitizers, wet wipes, my wallet, etc. And all of it is in here. It's quite secure because this flap does go over it so people can't just like open your bag and take stuff from there and then of course you have the compartment below which is super spacious it's this big um, I don't think like it can carry like an A4 size paper or a laptop but it can carry a bunch of things like water bottles and everything so I got this because I wanted to try out to see how backpacks would generally work for me um, it definitely keeps the hands free um, it's not as easy to take things uh, out when you need them as compared to a crossbody bag but it holds a lot more so I am definitely gonna carry this on our next holiday and when I'm out with the kids to just you know just try and see how it works out uh, for me so yeah those are my most used bags for 2022 uh, if you have any questions on any of them let me know I will leave like whatever links that you need down below and please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more I'll see you guys in my next one bye